So thank you so much for um, meeting earlier today with uh, a group of our young women, young Latina women that were interested in meeting Martha and talking a little bit about her personally and her career. And I wonder if you could give us just a quick pricey note on what your advice would be for the business students in the crowd um, in embarking on their career, just career advice. Um, I was at another business school and it was in, um, a lot of social entrepreneurs and, and a lot of uh, excitement around starting new companies. And I guess, and here's, I'll get on my soapbox a little bit by saying, there are a lot of really interesting quote unquote legacy companies out there that need innovators to go in there and transform them. Don't go in there and reinvent the wheel. Look at, look at the marketplace and see what needs to be brought in and updated in some incredible fashion. There is a lot of intellectual property, there is a lot of um, uh, talent and ideas. Uh, I, think, I think we live in a very throwaway economy and um, I would just advise you look around and see something that you think, God, that was a great idea 20 years ago, but we need, that needs to be transformed. So not everything has to be a startup, I guess, is what I would say. Is there, there are a lot of things you can do out there. Um, and I think in terms of innovation, um, what I have learned is that there is no trade-off between doing right by consumers and making a profit. Companies understand that you want quality and they like to compete with each other for doing the right thing. You can run a wonderfully competitive, profitable company and serve consumers. I, I can't chase after every company to make that happen. We as a collective, as consumers, can. But if you're out there, that's a false dichotomy. I think this next generation of graduates from the business school need to lead the charge and prove that happens. Because we prove it every day when we have a company fix a product, save a life, change a, a gear shift, and still make tons of money. It can be done. We need a marketplace that puts consumers first. I would love a next generation of our entrepreneurs that doesn't fight that principle, that just embraces it and kills the competition in the process because you will force a race to the top. And that's the beauty of markets. Um, so take advantage of that.